1937. Nazis killed his father after the German invasion. But Hoffman and his mother escaped and hid with friends for a year. After the war, Hoffman moved to the United States, where he pursued a career in chemistry. He also wrote plays and poems to share his experiences as a Holocaust survivor. When a Japanese artist named Mika Yoshizawa asked him to collaborate on a story, Hoffman decided to write about the atomic bombing of Nagasaki. It was a terrible time, but we survived. People have ways of recovering from terrible things. This is the story of Nagasaki and Hiroshima too. Miyoko Yamaguchi is an atomic bomb survivor. She met Hoffman at the Brick's launch. She was just 14 when the bomb hit, and working in a munitions factory 1.3 kilometers from the epicenter. For a long time, she felt guilty she had lived, while so many others perished. Yamaguchi says the book's message, to survive like a weed, has helped her come to terms with her feelings. When I meet somebody who has survived what she did, and because I have survived something else, I would like to give her just a hug. I'm happy I met him, and I'm grateful for his message. They share the strength of survival, the strength of the human spirit that makes human beings survive terrible things. Hoffman says he hopes the book inspires young people to continue the struggle for peace. Misato Yasui, NHK World, Nagasaki.